Well, a few weeks ago, I fixed the PTO switch. Now I'm actually replacing the PTO clutch and here's why. When I'm mowing a two acre property, when I mow up the whole thing and shut it down and say you miss a spot and you went to turn it back on, it doesn't turn back on. So the clutch gets so hot that uh, I think there might be a mechanical issue, a bearing or something going bad. So I bought a new one and we're going to replace it today. So the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the belt take the belt loose just like that and that's all we did right there we just pulled it off that pulley now that we got the belt loose i'm just going to take it off the pulley Z pulley now i got a bracket right here just two bolts half inch on the bottom here and then nine sixteenths on the top and half inch box wrench here we're going to hold that there, and then we're going to use an impact on top. So what I'm taking off is this bracket right here, and there's a bolt right where my finger is. It goes to the top, so put the wrench on the bolt. And this guy down here by the oil filter. Here's the bracket. She fell off. Okay, now we got the wrench. Recover that and the nut. And you can use a, uh, I think it's a 16 mil. The bolt. I'll show you there's a flange on here. If you don't have an impact like that, you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you unscrew it. Man, this bolt is hot. Smoking hot. And there's the old one. Just like that. Pop this off like we did in the other video. <laughs> Throw it to the ground. All right, here's the shaft coming down from the motor. We still have the uh, hydro belt on there. And I guess if you needed to change this out, now would be a good time. But uh, it's just grease on there, that's not oil. But I don't see any problems with the shaft. This is just dirty. So uh, let's take a look at the new one compared to the old one. PTO clutch is still hot to touch and it's been well over an hour. Uh, I think it's just time to be replaced for sure. It is hot, 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 hot. So we're gonna just check it out. Looks like it's all the same. Uh, I did verify the part number. With this part number, they are the same. I will supply you that information down on the bottom in the description it's a warner uh, 5219204 and the x mark part number is 126-8925 and there's some other numbers 102321l1 and all this stuff will be down in the description below so let's ohm this out i want to ohm out the old one again why it's still hot we're going to uh set the meter on ohms and we're going to see what our reading is here i don't know if you can see that but there you go three on the old one there's a bearing on the top and it feels okay well there is a a grinding spot. Let's see on this one. Oh yeah. So maybe the bearing went bad on that. We're starting to. Because it does mow. It does turn on when it's cool. So let's ohm out this one. Let's 
see what we get. Come on now. Get in there. So we're bouncing back from two, two to three. Let's see if I can get to right there. Two to three. Let's put this one on. That is your PTO clutch, and there's no adjustment on this one that, that I know of. Never adjusted anything like this. Think about it. Hypothetically, if I'm doing 50 accounts a week times 27, that's 1350, 1350 times at a minimum. I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on here, just a little bit. Just a real thin coat. So if you ever have to take this back off again, it should come off fairly easy. So what we gotta do is this notch right here, line it up with this bracket here. I'm bouncing between two cameras. So there's also a key in here for a shaft see it down in there so we got to line that up with the key slot on the shaft and then line this up at the top so it's positioned just right so get the key on the shaft we go that bad boy went right up there right up there and then now the bolt start it by hand take your impact this thing back in there we go now let's test it just gonna turn the key on and actuate it back on so now now we got to put this bracket back on and if you want you can write the hours on this clutch or you record it in a log book somewhere so I'm just getting these uh, lock nuts started All right, so now. Okay, torque specs, tight. <laughs> and then everything's lined up with the uh, notch, bonus notches. So we have the new clutch installed. All the information is going to be in the description below. And if this helped anybody, please subscribe, like this video, and comment down below, and watch for more. I'm Robert with Oakwood. Thank you.